This topic is long overdue simping. So let's be real, we've all seen it. Maybe some of you have even been guilty of it. But here's the thing, simping isn't just a buzzword, it's a real issue that's costing you respect, confidence, honesty, and your sanity in relationships. If you're tired of being the nice guy who finishes last, stick around because I'm about to break down exactly how to stop simping and start getting the respect that you deserve from women. Welcome back, Abel here. Let's jump right into it. So first, let me explain exactly what simping is. All right, let's define it now. Simping is when you're overcompensating for attention, approval, or affection from a woman, usually one who isn't even remotely interested in you. You're bending over backward, ignoring your own needs, and quite frankly putting her on a pedestal that she hasn't earned. And what's worse you're doing this without getting anything in return, no respect, no genuine interest, nothing. Does it sound familiar? If you're doing everything for her and she's not reciprocating or respecting you, you're simping, my brother, and it's time to stop. Here's the problem with simping. It isn't just unattractive, it's self-destructive, and here's why. When you simp, you're sending out a message that you don't value yourself. You're saying, I'll do anything for you, even if you don't do a damn thing for me. Women pick up on this, and let me tell you, they will exploit it. They'll take what you give without offering anything back because you've shown them that you don't demand respect or mutual effort. And it's not just about women, it's about you. Simping chips away at your own self-worth. You're constantly chasing after someone who doesn't appreciate you, and that rejection, whether direct or subtle, eats away at your confidence. It's a vicious cycle, and it needs to end now. I'll leave a link to a video I did earlier this year about what your woman should bring to the table. Guys, if she's not doing the stuff I highlighted in that video, then it may be time to check out. I'll leave it in the video description. So how do we stop simping? I'm going to share five quick ways on how you can do that. The first one is self-respect. Now guys, self-respect isn't just a buzzword, it's the foundation for every healthy relationship you'll ever have. When you respect yourself, you set the standard for how you want other people to treat you. So how do you build that self-respect? Start by recognizing your value outside of any relationship. Focus on your strengths, your accomplishments, and what makes you unique. Spend time doing things that make you feel good about yourself, whether that's hitting the gym, advancing your career, or pursuing hobbies you're passionate about. It's important to understand that you don't need someone else's validation to feel good about yourself. The moment you stop seeking approval from others, especially women, is the moment you reclaim your power. Women are naturally drawn to men who are confident in who they are men who don't need constant reassurance because they're secure in their own skin. So before you think about what you can do for her, think about what you're doing for yourself. Number two, stop putting women on a pedestal. You heard me right. Now I'm a man, but I just have to go there. Here's the harsh truth when you place a woman above you. You're telling her and yourself that she's more valuable than you are. And really think about it, why? Why are you doing that? Is it because she's attractive? Because she gave you a little attention? That's not enough to warrant the kind of idolization I see so many men fall into. Putting someone on a pedestal creates an unbalanced dynamic where you're constantly trying to win her approval, often at your own expense. No one, and I mean no one, is worth sacrificing your self-respect for. The reality is women are people just like you. We have our flaws, insecurities, and shortcomings. By treating us like we're some kind of goddess, you're setting yourself up for disappointment because you're not seeing us for who we really are, you're seeing an idealized version of her. Trust me, that's a recipe for disaster. Number three, set boundaries. This is where many men trip up because they're so focused on pleasing the woman that they forget to protect their own space and well-being. Setting boundaries means knowing what you're willing to accept and what you won't, and sticking to it. So for example, if she's constantly flaking on you or disrespecting your time, don't brush it off just because you want to see her. Let her know that your time is valuable and you won't tolerate being treated like an option. If she's not willing to respect that, then you need to be willing to walk away. Setting boundaries isn't about being confrontational or difficult. It's about being clear on what you deserve. When you have strong boundaries, you're sending a message that you respect yourself and expect the same from others. Women who are genuinely interested in you will respect those boundaries. And those who aren't, 
well, they'll either fall in line or fall out of your life. Either way, you win. Number four, stop chasing. Focus on yourself. Now here's a game changer. Stop chasing women and start chasing your goals. I've highlighted this in so many videos on this channel. My favorite being stop wasting time on women. Do this instead. If you haven't seen that video yet, you've been watching the wrong videos. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, so make sure you check it out. Here's the thing, the more you focus on improving yourself, the more attractive you become. If you're always chasing women, you're not leaving enough room for them to chase you. Instead of constantly thinking about how to win her over, channel that energy into your own growth, whether it's advancing your career, building your fitness, or mastering a new skill. These are things that will make you stand out. Women are naturally drawn to men who are ambitious, driven, and passionate about something other than themselves. When you're focused on your own life, you automatically become more interesting and desirable. You're not just another guy vying for attention, you're a man on a mission, and that's incredibly attractive. Number five, learn the power of walking away. Finally, let's talk about one of the most powerful tools you'll have in your arsenal, the ability to walk away. This isn't about playing hard to get or manipulating the situation, it's about knowing your worth and not settling for less. Walking away shows that you're not desperate for her approval. It says, I'm a high-value man, and if you don't see that, I'm not sticking around to convince you. This kind of confidence is magnetic. It's what separates men who get walked over from men who command respect. And here's the kicker, when you're willing to walk away, you shift the power dynamic. Suddenly, she's the one who has to prove herself to you. She realizes she can't take you for granted because you're not afraid to leave if the situation isn't right for you. Remember, this only works if you genuinely mean it. You can't fake confidence or the willingness to walk away women can see right through that. So work on building your self-worth to the point where you truly believe that walking away is an option because you know there are plenty of other women out there who would be lucky to have you. Enough said. I'll wrap up this video and leave you with a few thoughts. Ponder on them, let them simmer in your mind before you decide to take your next line of action. Bottom line, it's time to stop simping and start commanding the respect you deserve. Remember, the key is to value yourself first. Stop chasing after women who don't appreciate you and start focusing on becoming the best version of yourself. When you do that, the right woman, who truly values you, will come along and she won't require you to bend over backward just to get her attention. Cheers for knowing your worth and not settling for anything less. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, share it with another brother, and hit subscribe so you get notified every single time I post a new one. My name is Abel. Thank you so much for watching.